we exist to glorify God by making disciples. What is a disciple? The Bible uses the word disciple for those who gave up their old life to follow and become like their master or their teacher. Disciple making was a big deal to Jesus as he invested most of his time and teaching into just a few people. While hundreds sought him and thousands came out to hear him preach, Jesus prioritized and developed just 12 men who would change the world. Disciple making is still God's plan for the church today. In Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Jesus gave his 12 men the strategy for reaching the entire world with the gospel after he left earth. What was that strategy? Go make disciples of all nations. God wants every Christian becoming and making disciples. What does that look like? Simply put, in Matthew 4:19, Jesus called the men who had shown interest in following him to three things, to choose, to change, and to commit. First, disciples choose Jesus. No one accidentally follows Jesus. Every person must consciously choose to put their trust in Jesus and only Jesus as their savior. Second, disciples change. God has put every Christian on a path of being changed from their old sinful life into their new life in Christ, a process we are called to willingly submit to. Third, disciples commit. A disciple is one whose life is completely surrendered to the mission of Jesus. After choosing to become a Christian, how are we to know what changes God wants to make? How are we to know what Jesus' mission was? God has given us a pattern of five spiritual growth steps for every disciple of Jesus so that we put ourselves in a posture to cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Worship. Disciples live Monday through Saturday mindful of worshiping their Creator. We also gather with our church community on Sunday to worship together. Learn. Disciples read, understand, and apply the Word of God individually and with others. Connect. Disciples gather regularly and consistently to connect in real relationships with a few people in our church family. Serve. Joining in the mission of Jesus' church to grow disciples means giving, not just receiving. Serving Jesus means serving others using the gifts God has given us for His glory. Repeat. Once we have grown through these stages, a disciple follows the example of Jesus to then raise up more disciples serving others by walking alongside them as a spiritual parent and coach as they grow up through worship, learn, connect, serve, and then they repeat also. So how can I do it all? You don't. Just take one next step. Your next step might be to grow faithful and effective in your current growth stage. Or your next step might be to take a step into the next growth stage. What's your next step?